equation 4a. Ito. Equation 4a is d raised to n y e raised to ax is equal to e raised to ax d plus a raised to n y. This is equation for a. So, ayan ang pinagbasihan natin in determining the value of a. In this case, dito, your a is equal to 3, your n is equal to 4. Okay? Writing this equation in this form here, so this becomes e raised to ax, but our a is 3, x times d plus a, that is 3, raised to n, but our n is 4, y. Okay? Is equal to 0. So applying the exponential shift, we have e raised to 3x times d plus 3 to the fourth y is equal to d to the fourth e to the 3xy is equal to 0. Okay? So, saan naman ang galing yun? Sa exponential shift pa rin. Ito. This came from d raised to n e raised to mx is equal to m raised to n e raised to mx for n is equal to 1, 2, 3, and so on. Okay? And this reduces to phi d raised to e uh, times e the raised to mx is equal to e raised to mx phi times m. This is equation 3a. Okay? So, we have this, d to the fourth e raised to 3xy is equal to 0. Integrating this 4 times, we integrate natin siya 4 times. So, we have, what is the integral of e to the 3x? Ganda. y is equal to mm -hmm. e to the 3x d to the negative 4 or the inverse of the derivative and this is the first derivative should be uh, integral e of what of x is c uh, sub 1 teka ulit okay so, integrating this four times. So, the first integral should be c sub 1 plus the integral of d to the negative 3. Okay? And this becomes c sub 1 plus c sub 2x. 
and so on plus c sub 3 x square plus c sub 4 x cubed. Okay. Paano nangyari? Yung d kasi, d, okay, over dx. That is equivalent to d. So, pag nag-integrate tayo, that is the first integral of d over dx. Okay? So, it will give us what? C sub 1 for the first derivative. I integrate, integrate, integral. The second integral, okay? Dapat yung kasi apat. Okay? Then, the integral of C sub 1 d over dx. So, this will give us x c sub 1. Pero hindi na po pwedeng gamitin natin si sub 1 pa rin. So instead, we will be using x c sub 2. That is on the second, derivative, second integral. On the third integral, we have x c sub 2 d over dx and this will give us x square instead of using sub 2, c sub 2, we have to use c sub 3. And another integral, that is x square c sub 2 of d over dx is equal to x cubed c sub 4. That is why we have this for the answer. Okay? Nawala na ako sa screen. Then, applying this into this, this here. So we have e to the 3x, y, is equal to c sub 1 plus c sub 2x plus c sub 3x square plus c sub 4 x cube and we have y equal to c sub 1 plus c sub 2x plus c sub 3x square plus c sub 4x cube times e to the negative 3x and that will be the solution. Okay, just like what we've done in differential equation, you are to answer the supplementary problems at the end of every module and submit nyo yan sa akin, yung malalayo through courier at yung malalapit naman, pwede namang sa tindahan namin sa palengke o kaya man dito sa bahay namin sa Balanga, kung malapit kayo dito sa Balanga. Okay, that ends module number one. So, I'll be uploading soon module number two.